Sungai Road Flea Market, also known as Thieves Market to some, is the oldest flea market in Singapore. It is located at Sungai Road, which literally means River Road in English. The road is situated between Serangoon Road and Jalan Besar. This area used to be a residential area, home to affluent Europeans and Asians. In the 1930s, a flea market was formed in Sungai Road. Sellers gathered here to sell second-hand goods, old spare parts, and other items ranging from old currency notes to imitation iPods. The flea market is at its busiest in the late afternoons, especially during the weekends. Bargain hunters flock to the area to get cheap replacement parts for their faulty items and old merchandise that are rare or is no longer in production. The regular sellers of the flea market are mostly elderly men who ply their trade on a daily basis from 1pm to 7pm. Let's get some more insight from Mr. Ho, a seller of second-hand watches who has been selling at Sungai Road Flea Market for more than 10 years. Oh, you can only start business here at 12 noon. In the past, there wasn't any restriction, but to avoid undue fights and quarrels, the authorities make it 12 to 7 p.m. It's not that the young people don't want to come, it's just that things sold here are mostly second-hand stuff. There isn't much quality to speak of. Most sellers claim their goods to be good, when they are actually faulty. Sometimes sellers get into heated arguments and they almost get into fights because of disagreements. You might be disappointed with such unruly behaviour if you happen to encounter such fights while you are here. So as I was saying, we can only sell second-hand goods here, not new goods. It's usually more crowded on weekends. You can see more foreigners here. Also, it ends at 7pm. There was a period of time the URA officers would come at 7 p.m. to ensure we pack up on time. If we continue our business, we would be fined $300. Such is life. Well, our trade appears to be good, only if you have goods to sell. Sungai Road today. Though the shop houses have been pulled down in the mid-1990s, the Sungai Road flea market still thrives today. It is actually illegal for the storeholders to sell anything brand new under law passed by the government. The sizes of the store varies, from a table filled with an array of electronic items, belts and watches, to a humble mat which displays no more than 10 items such as rings. Despite its history and popularity among the older folks and foreigners, the familiar sights and sounds of the Sungai Road flea market could soon be a thing of the past. Reason being, the flea market sits on a state land which is approximately the size of a football field and this land could be acquired by the government in the near future. Will the Sungai Road flea market be around for the next 10 years? Only time will tell.